Hello there and welcome back to another edition of Health Matters. Last time I spoke about the top half of the body in relation to the arms and the rib cage, all the bits that are in it, um, and relationship to how it can cause problems if we're doing certain bad habits. This week we're going to be talking about the bad habits that can cause the problem of what's known as kyphosing, which is the round humpback, um, which we can see in, in a lot of older people. Uh, this I attribute mainly, if it's not congenital, i.e. if you're not actually born with it, then it's usually because somewhere along the line you've had an injury which has caused you to um, have a misalignment of one of the top half of the vertebrae causing you pain when you sit up straight. So you tend to slouch and you develop this humpback part around here. In addition, there are other things that cause um, kyphosing, for instance, shoulder problems. If you've had a shoulder injury, you will naturally want to round the shoulder to guard it. If it isn't put right, then you will have that muscle here shorten and that will pull the shoulder closer to the sternum here and it will elongate this part here causing um, excess wear and tear on this one and of course making this muscle short. So when you do um, find that you have a problem you go to someone like a physiotherapist who will say to you well keep your shoulders back and do exercises from there but unfortunately this is in great need of lengthening and massage to help the fibers to lengthen in order to get the shoulder to be able to sit properly in its original position i.e. here okay it wants to round forward because it's still protecting. So you need to get the shoulder sorted out first. It may be that you need to go to uh, a massage therapist or, or a physiotherapist to undo all the protective layer that's been there as a result of the injury, correct the injury, and then you can lengthen and strengthen the muscles in order for you to stand up. So sometimes, please don't um, keep on at your children, um, adults, uh, to stand up and sit up straight because they may have a genuine reason where they can't actually stand up straight because they are in a little bit of discomfort. They don't know why, um, but it's very uh, likely that they have had some um, misfortune in falling over, tripping or, or doing something that has dislodged um, slightly misaligned a vertebrae causing them that pain from the muscle irritation of the nerve and therefore they can't stand up straight. In addition there are other reasons, pure bad habits. Okay, We're going to have a look at those now. Now the bad habits we're looking at is particularly things like sitting at desks with elbows perched here looking forward um, and, and looking extremely bored most of the times and in that position on a regular basis you're going to find that it's going to be rounding the, the shoulders. Um, looking at things like the computer screen the heads go forward and then the shoulders go with it and we're sitting in this position um, reading books and papers looking down so if you're doing a job which involves looking down all the time such as architecture or draftsman or typing that sort of thing you are going to have your head forward and if your head is forward nine times out of ten your shoulders will follow and this will become a habit okay it's a bad habit because it encourages us to lean forward now we were talking last time about the rib cage underneath here and this is again my important thing. A lot of people who have breathing difficulties is because they're actually cutting off their oxygen supply because of their posture. The diaphragm which controls the lungs by pushing it up and down is housed underneath the rib cage and if you are leaning forward you are shutting that off, not allowing the diaphragm to do its job properly. 
and that means that you can't get sufficient oxygen. So that means you'll feel tired and your muscles will ache more and there's an awful lot of benefits to being um, sitting up straight to allow the diaphragm to allow more oxygen. Okay. So do try and keep upright as much as possible. It is difficult. The most important thing you need to do is to be able to retract the chin. That doesn't mean tipping the head up or it doesn't mean sitting right back from here. It means retracting the chin. This is the chin forward. This is the chin back. If the chin is back, it is anatomically impossible for the shoulders to come forward. If I let my chin go forward, you can see I can round my shoulders. If I pull my chin back, I can't round my shoulders because the clavicle gets in the way of the shoulder and it stops it from coming forward. So by pulling the chin back, you are doing yourself a favour because don't forget, this one which we'll be talking about in the next session um, is quite a weighty thing and we'll be talking about that later. But that needs to sit squarely on the neck pole. Okay, so we've got that happening, not that. Um, in addition, there are many things that we do as bad habits, women particularly, um, and now men with, with um, laptops and things like that, that, that you carry on one shoulder, okay? Try to equate it so that you have the strap on one side and the bag um, with the uh, heavy weight on the right going to work and then vice versa coming back from work so that you're equaling the load on a regular basis okay if you can make sure that you've got equal hands if you're carrying shopping so it's not just one sided where you're tilting and then you're um, moving your body the other way to balance it because if you're taking it out of that rule of 90 remember you're putting it in danger Okay. Another thing is leaning. When you're in the car, you tend to lean on the window or on the armrest, and that's regularly with one hand. Okay. It's always on the driver's side that you're going to do it because you don't have one on the other side. Okay. So just think about the things that you do habitually, which actually are not good for you. All right. Um, Women, again, sorry to harp on about this, but you do need to make sure that you have a correct fitting bra because um, breasts weigh heavy and they encourage you to round your shoulders. All right. Besides giving you a nice shape, you can actually um, appear to lose seven pounds very quickly by having your um, a, a good fitting bra standing up correctly and it gives you that wonderful shape that automatically gives that hourglass figure that we're all striving for. So just think about the sort of things that you're doing on a regular basis that you could change. Have a look at the rule of 90 again and compare what you're doing on a daily basis with what is out of 90, in 90, all sorts of things. Okay, so do have a look and just keep practicing. It's not easy because we all develop bad habits, but they do take time to break and you will really pay the benefits if you can have a look at them and change them now. Moreover, have a look at your children and the people around you and try to offer help with those as well because they always, growing up, children are like sponges, they'll soak in what you tell them. If you teach them correctly from the beginning, they'll grow up without a problem. That's food for thought. Until next time, take care. Bye bye now.